Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading covering July 16th to July 31st, 2022. This is a general reading for all those with Libra in their birth chart. However, cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of the individuals may be swapped and intensity of the reading energy may be varied. So take whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. We'll go through the initial meanings of the cards, further clarify with more tarot cards, and close off with an oracle card. So first, we explore what lessons you've been learning. You have this meandering pathway, flow, and you have the Three of Cups. Second, we reveal what you don't see coming, and you have Nessie, longevity, and the Ace of Cups. And third, we find out what influences your perception. In the second half of July, you have beauty and the wheel of the year. The Four of Pentacles is your uh, perspective as you enter the second half of July. Nine of Cups is what surrounds you. King of Swords is your motivation, and the Ace of Swords is your outcome. So here you've got kind of two Aces. So it seems that you have a some opportunities when it comes to love, emotions, and uh, clarity. So it seems what you've been learning is this concept of flow, kind of going with the flow, just kind of going where, where things lead you. And with the Three of Cups here, um, can see there is a waterfall behind these individuals here that are kind of just celebrating life, just celebrating being with each other and, um, you know, even the, the flow of, of relationships and kind of understanding that kind of things happen when they're supposed to happen. Um, and you may be kind of just relaxing and hanging out. Maybe you don't have a lot of time constraints or you're just, um, you know, not feeling those time constraints or um, just kind of letting things roll off your back and just doing what's for your best and highest good. So let's go ahead and clarify the three of cups here. You have the Nine of Wands. So it may be that um, in the past, you kind of were worn down and you're starting to understand your, your boundaries and that you can only do so much um, until you can't really you take it anymore. It seems that you can withstand a lot, that you have a lot of What's the word? Uh, I'm not going to say angst. Maybe you did in the past, but you're trying to um, really be in a place of receiving instead of doing. So here, this, what you don't see coming, this card of longevity and the Ace of Cups, it kind of indicates that um, this kind of going with the flow is really going to provide you with what you need. Uh, it'll fill you up. It'll um, make you actually enjoy 
being in the now, being in the moment, and that when it comes to um, having, you know, the universe or spirit give you an offering of the Ace of Cups, that it can go a long way. Um, and first and foremost, you need to make sure that you are showing yourself um, compassion, love, um, self-care, but that recognizing what's important and allowing yourself to just go with the flow, know what fills you up will really allow you to connect more with others. So here you have the Ace of Wands, another Ace. So really, it's it's almost like a domino effect of going with the flow and getting, you know, opportunities to be fulfilled, um, be in the now, having, um, you know, connections with yourself and those around you connected to your intuition, your creativity, your imagination. It's, it is something that kind of keeps going. And here, this concept of uh, beauty here influences your, your perspective. And here with the, the will of the year, you can see all the different um, kind of in the corners, the, the different uh, greenery and uh, is it foliage that represents the different seasons. So it's kind of a, a concept of really just understanding that there's constant change and transformation and letting go of things that don't serve you, um, just like, you know, the changing of the seasons. Um, that allows for new things to, to grow and bloom. And here, this, this concept of, of beauty is kind of almost appreciating the change, appreciating how um, the beauty that comes not necessarily from the things you put on your skin, uh, your face, on your body to, um, you know, identify who you are, but how you connect with others, how you connect um, and with nature and the people around you, uh, a sense of, of grace and uh, internal beauty, kind of, you start seeing that in, in every living thing. So here, oh, well, let's go ahead and clarify the wheel, of, the wheel of the year. You have the queen of cups. So definitely this concept of um, what's on the inside, this concept of really being in touch with who you are and connecting to everything on an emotional um, yeah, level with, with love and um, tenderness. So here with the Four of Pentacles, you have this perspective of really just you need to make sure you're good, that you've got a sense of security. Um, it's the only pentacles I see, uh, other than the pentacle and the, the wheel of the year over there. Um, so for some of you, it may be, you know, financial, but for the most part, it seems having um, a basis in a sense of security in yourself, making sure that you are, um, you are in a good place and grounded, uh, connected in your mind, your body, your spirit, your heart, and that you are in a place of like balance and, and harmony going forward. So you have the four of pentacles again. So here it's, it's definitely making sure that the focus is on you. 
the issue with the four of pentacles is that if you hold on too tightly to what you have, um, it's almost like a, a limiting mindset that doesn't allow for this concept of flow and this, uh, you know, concept of transformation and change with the wheel of the year. But what is surrounding you, the nine of cups, it may be that, you know, you've got these friends here that are really, they're helping you go with the flow. They're helping you um, tap into this more, um, this place of being uh, good with yourself first and making sure that you celebrate all your accomplishments and you know how awesome you are. Um, so it seems like you are surrounded by others that are in the flow, um, tapping into their um, connections with each other, their, uh, their friendships, their love, their uh, sense of receiving and being in the moment and allowing the universe to give so that they can receive and really they're helping you. To, to recognize the more that you allow yourself to receive, the more that you don't just clutch on to the very like small pieces that you can't of sanity or um, income or resources or time that, um, you know, most people struggle to do and you kind of just go with the flow um, that, you will start to get more opportunities for um, connecting and inspiration uh, to really move that energy and help that flow. So let's take a look at the Nine of Cups here. You have the Four of Swords. So here it could be also like what you're surrounded by are are those that have kind of like decided to take a step back from um, mainstream, maybe uh, cut down their time on social media, um, you know, focus on mental health and really start placing more boundaries, healthy boundaries, so that there's, um, it's okay to say no, it's okay to take on only as much as you feel that you can and not, not like with trying to take on what you feel you can, like not struggling, um, not, you know, holding on to your plate and making sure no one puts anything else on. It's just having a good sense of, um, knowing when to say when, way before it's time to say when. So here, this King of Swords, uh, this is like the motivation, this kind of, um, kind of would be the a court card equivalent to your uh, Major Arcana Justice card, where it is that balance of reason, um, logic, clarity, uh, and having compassion as well, making it clear of, um, you know, communicating honestly and truthfully and not, not uh, f trying to fool anyone. Like it's clear that you need things a certain way to function um, most efficiently and effectively. And it seems like the, that motivation is, um, it may, it may be that there was a lack of boundaries before, but it may also be that like with this, these, this concept of beauty, queen of cups, these new opportunities coming your way, it's making you recognize uh, what's important to you, what's worth protecting in terms of your 
your health, your mental health, your connections with others and those that you care about. So let's look at the King of Swords. You have the Eight of Cups here. So this concept of pretty much knowing what is not for your best and highest good, what's worth walking away from to um, maintain a certain amount of order that you need um, to, to function at your best so that you aren't taking on too much. And so the outcome here with the Ace of Swords is this kind of new perspective of things, this sense of clarity, this understanding that you're intelligent, you um, know how to communicate, um, and you understand that there's two edges to the sword. You can use it to, um, you know, attack and to defend. And here, it's a sense of you are going to use it um, to maintain a sense of peace and balance in your life. So let's take a look at the Ace of Swords. You have the Eight of Wands. And that is a sense of forward moving, uh, advancement, progression, um, really advancing. So here it's like going forward, you have all these new opportunities and, and tools um, to make sure that you are in the flow, that you are appreciating aspects of yourself and not really um, kind of allowing, allowing yourself to kind of just, you know, get the scraps. You are coming from a place of, you know, understanding that there will always be changes. There will always be a new opportunity. Um, and so here it seems that this concept of tapping into your emotion, tapping into what fills you up, your sense of connection to your environment is a key focus for uh, the end of July. So to close off this reading, I'm going to pull an oracle card to see uh, which animal totem will help guide you for the rest of the month. You have this wolf pathfinder card. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So here, um, this nine of wands in, in the past is something that you can handle, but it's not what you're going to choose going forward. Um, and going forward, you're going to have this, you know, this new journey, this new path where, um, you are going to really tap into what your soul has to offer. So I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective. To get more information, check out readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.